Hi right, folks, I'm just going to do a little quick live stream now. I'm just going to be trimming a few of these little little olive balls, we call them. But I'm not going to trim them by cutting them off first, like most people do, and then trimming them upside down. I'm going to trim them on the bat, or turn them on the bat. Now I'll just show you how I do. Because they're so fine at the top. If I did flip them over to turn a foot ring, then I'd damage the rim. So I'll just use my little turning tool like that <clears throat> just to get over get a few of the little lines out it probably can't see very well because it'd be a bit far away and then to trim the foot I've got another little tool there and I'm just going to make it a groove and that'll look a ribbon the play will come out very simple like I said these are simple bowls so I'm not going to start trimming foot rings simple bowls so I'm not going to start trimming foot rings foot rings in them I'll try and get the camera a little bit closer if I can but uh, we'll see now for decoration I've got some slip there I'm just going to lay it in there and quickly before it dries pull my finger out can you pardon the expression from the centre makes a spiral like that dead simple and that's it really that's trim now so all I need to do is cut it off and what I use is a piece of fishing line it's about 30 pound fishing line and then just make it really tight and quickly cut it off and then I don't know if you can see look no need for a foot rim oh, absolutely flat as a pancake so it won't wobble so like I said, no need to turn a no need to turn a foot rim, if, you know, on like basic pieces, because it takes a lot of time, and I'm only selling these cheap. So if I spend three times as long turning a foot rim, I'll have to charge three times as much, and then they wouldn't sell. So I'll just show you how quickly it can be done, which is what you've got to really do in when you're mass producing stuff. I'm keeping the prices down. and then we little we've got a little tool there just to finish the bottom off slightly undercut it smooth it off my finger again in with the slit and quickly just from the center pull it out to make the spiral and then I forgot we put a little stamp on there I don't know whether you can see it Ingleton pottery just stamp the, the edge of the foot Cut it off again, and there we go. Trim, no foot rim, but absolutely flat as a pancake. And there's the little, I don't know whether you can see that little stamp on the bottom. So, yeah, really quick. It's the way we do it. We don't turn foot rims on anything really, unless it's a special, you know, big piece. But like I said, the rims on these are very, very delicate, and if I started flipping it over, then uh, it damage it right I'll try and put the camera a little bit closer see if you can get a better view I don't know cat might fall over uh, maybe not we'll see just hope it doesn't fall over <laughs> so again okay, I'm just smoothing the inside with my finger little tool just to smooth the edge off little bit of grit there which is pulled I'll try and get the camera a little bit lower down and then the slip in the middle finger in the middle pull it out stamp on and cut it off and that's another one again flat as a pancake on the bottom as you can see what's cut off there it's totally flat so it won't wobble and a little trimmed foot I'll try and get the camera a little bit lower 
put it on the side. Let's put all a bit of a balancing act this. Um, I'll get a bigger bat. I'm gonna have to bear with me a second. Let's have a look. That might get you sideways on. Give that a go. <laughs> Getting closer. Try to try to look at the comments, but I can't see them because the camera's on the side. I'm afraid. So you might better see this is a little turning tool, just tidying the little lines off, cutting under a little bit, and the little ribbon tool. As you can see, it takes a, a groove out. Finally, the little tool at the end just to straighten the edge off, and then the fingers just get a little bit more slip, run out of slip. And again, in with the slip. Draw it out to make the spiral. And then the little stamp, just roll it around the bottom to put the name on. And then with the little wire, just cut it off. And there we have it again. Perfectly flat, so no need to turn a foot ring. And it's so much faster than flipping them upside down and doing it. I'm not sure if it'll work this close up, it's only about a foot away and it's only a camera phone, so we'll see. Anyway, I've got a few more to do, just give you a quick look again. All our tools are homemade. This one here is just a little bit of a, um, what do you call them, jigsaw blade, just bent round stuck in some wood and taped round and then sharpened up it's not particularly sharp but you can do those to any dimension so if you want to make a a bigger groove make the profile a bit wider and if you want it smaller then make it a bit smaller and these our little stamps are actually what they use for a what they used to use in making printing newspapers, the little lead lead blocks, and we got them made up before they've sort of gone out of fashion now, it's all gone computerised printing, but they do work. And the bats, people get asking what are, what are the bats made of? Well, ours, it was some kind of vinyl material, I think it's it's quite rigid as you can see quite thin about eighth of an inch three or four millimeters and all we do is we've got a little pin in the wheel there in the middle and one on the edge and then on the back there's a hole in the middle and a hole on the edge and simply you just I'll try to do this one handed without looking you just put that over there and it locks onto the back so that's it yeah so anything will do you can use perspex I think you call it plexiglass in America but anything that's waterproof and smooth and quite rigid, you just need to find the right material really. Try to look at some comments, but let's have a look. Hello, that's good. <laughs> that's easy to answer. Like I said, the camera is on the slide, so I can't see this. I can't see the comments. Oops. Well, that's about it. I've done what? That's six done. All well, the rest are in the back drying out. So I just thought I'd give, show you that. I don't know whether it helps. Something to try if you do throw on bats. Just try and trimming off the bat without flipping it over like that. Because, like I said, if I flip that over, I'd probably damage the rim. And it's not going to get any neater at the bottom anyway. Because what we do is we just brush, uh, 
sponge that over and like I said there's no need to put a foot rim on things as small as that anyway so it's perfectly fine so that's about it folks another little quick uh, live stream thingy-majig I think I know how to turn it off now so that's about it I'll see you later I'm gonna press X see you later bye bye